follow the white rabbit. Do shapeshifting rabbit spirits exist? Let's talk about it. So today's video is inspired by a comment that was left by one of my subscribers in my recent videos titled The Joker Entities, where I discuss the existence of jester entities and other dimensions that people have seen on very powerful psychedelics. And the comment that this subscriber left me literally sent me down a rabbit hole. And this is in reference to entities that my subscriber has seen. I've also seen them present as rabbits a lot. They look like that, just add bunnyish features and fur. Back when I drank a lot, I drew the same entity, but as a bunny. The one you have is way better drawn, but it's the same pony face. I was wondering why it looks slightly familiar. Maybe they do this to not offend people who hate clowns, because for some of us clowns trigger that red rum nerve, and we want to get rid of it immediately, and not nicely. Rabbits are easier to like and have that cue factor pre-programmed, or maybe that's what my vision translated it to. But if that's true, that's another literal rabbit hole to go down in research and thinking. Might be a fun video for you to make. Easter Bunny, Trix Rabbit, White Rabbit on Alice in Wonderland, Matrix, Donnie Darko, etc. There's lots of esoteric rabbit symbolism out there. Interesting that you're supposed to follow it, and tricks are for kids. Though, which makes me wonder, is that how they present it to children to not scare them, but yet get their attention? I don't know, I'm just kind of brainstorming and throwing stuff out there. Dead Circus, thank you for this comment, it's very interesting, and it literally sent me down a rabbit hole. So literally after this comment, I was kind of curious if anybody else has seen these types of entities. So the first thing I decided to do is look up rabbit spirits in mythology. And apparently there is folklore about a spirit known as the Puka. The Puka is a creature of Celtic and Germanic folklore, considered to be bringers both of good and bad fortune. They can help or handle rural and marine communities. Puka can have dark or white fur or hair. The creature was said to be shape changers, which could take the appearance of horses, goats, cats, dogs, and hares, aka rabbits. They may also take a human form, which includes various animal features such as ears or tail. So to kind of simplify, the puka is a shape-shifting trickster spirit of Celtic folklore that usually takes the form of a domestic animal, or human, the telltale animal feature such as large ears, fur, or a tail. So yes, that's what a puka spirit is, it's a shape-shifting trickster spirit that is able to take the form of many animals. And common accounts of the puka spirit is always the rabbit or the hare. And a common account of the puka spirits that people have witnessed is usually in the form of a white or black rabbit. And what's really interesting, there is a film from the 1950s known as Harvey. Elwood P. Dode is an amiable but eccentric man whose best friend is an invisible six foot three and a half tall white rabbit named Harvey. As described by Elwood, Harvey is a puka, a benign but mischievous creature from Celtic mythology. Elwood spends most of his time taking Harvey around town, drinking at various bars and introducing Harvey to almost every person he meets, much of the puzzlement of strangers, though Elwood's friends have accepted Harvey's supposed existence. However, his older sister Veda and his niece Myrtle May live with him in his large estate, but have become social outcasts along with Elwood due to his obsession with Harvey, the puka spirit that he apparently sees. So yeah, it's a movie from the 1950s where a guy literally is best friends with this invisible rabbit spirit known as the puka in Celtic mythology. And the spirit, just like described in Celtic mythology, is a mischievous trickster spirit that is a shapeshifter that often takes the form of a rabbit, sometimes a white or a black rabbit. This kind of plot also reminds me of movies like Donnie Darko. If you guys have ever seen that movie, it is legit a fever dream of a movie. And I'm going to read to you the plot of Donnie Darko. During the presidential election of 1988, a teenager named Donnie Darko sleepwalks out of his house one night and sees a giant demonic looking rabbit named Frank who tells him the world will end in 28 days. When Donnie returns home, he finds that a jet engine has crashed into his bedroom. Is Donnie living in a parallel universe? Is he suffering from mental illness? Or will the world really end? But yeah, in the movie Donnie Darko, Donnie is this emotionally troubled teenager who has visions of Frank, which is this mysterious figure in a rabbit costume who informs him that the world is just going to end in like 28 days. So again, another movie with a benign, mischievous trickster spirit that's in the form of a rabbit. And the comment that my subscriber left me kind of made me curious and I wondered, is there any more accounts of seeing these weird rabbit type entities? Out of all the entities I looked into, this one to me is one of the most bizarre ones. I mean, I've looked into the jesters, the shadow people, the static people, but this one really took me back a little because it's just so strange. And apparently there's a decent amount of accounts of these rabbit-like entities. And I'm going to read to you some experiences of people on a Reddit form. This one guy says, giant white rabbit. Has anyone seen an apparition of a giant white lot bunny rabbit? He appeared as about five to six feet tall and of the phantom white appearance. I have seen him on two occasions and both times he was running really fast, motion blur fast. All I can find on it is a being called a puka spirit, which I talked about. 
And one guy says, I have a very similar experience with the so-called puka when I was 19 years old. In a dream, I went downstairs to the front door. I opened the door, and there stood a six-foot-tall white rabbit staring at me. The dream has given me the creeps for years, yet it's always been fascinating. I stare at it in awe, waiting for it to tell me something. It slowly looked up at me with these huge pink bulbous eyes the size of my fists. Then its nose twitched, which is the most memorable moment. Anyone that owns a rabbit knows that kind of movement a rabbit has with their nose, a sort of twitch like it was smelling me. I thought that if I spoke to it, it would hurt me or put a spell on me or something weird, so I waited for it to say something first. When it didn't, I slowly closed the door on it because it was quite terrifying. I turned around and saw my girlfriend at the time in my living room asking me who it was, and I was lost for words. How about that for a puka story? The thing was huge. I still cannot get over how real those pink eyes and giant nose were. It stared into me. And it's also interesting that the rabbit is part of our culture. On Easter, which is apparently a Christian holiday celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the use of rabbits and eggs is often used to portray Easter. But of course in the Bible, rabbits have nothing to do with Jesus Christ. In fact, Easter actually has pagan origins. Back in the day, the pagans celebrated Eshtar, pronounced very similar to Easter, which was a day that also celebrated a resurrection, that one of their gods, known as Tammuz. And in these pagan traditions, the rabbit represented fertility and sex. So it's very bizarre that a rabbit has been associated with a Christian-inspired holiday known as Easter. But again, in the Bible, the rabbit has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. So it's always good to look into these origin stories. And one very last thing that I wanted to mention, I'm actually friends with a schizophrenic on TikTok, and she is an artist and a musician. And she always draws her hallucinations, what she sees all the time. And one of her recent drawings that she drew looks like a rabbit. I even spoke to her and I asked her, I said, have you ever seen any kind of like rabbit, like puka spirit entities? And she said, yes, once in a while I would see them. So it's very interesting that she drew this recently today. But yeah, guys, very interesting and strange. This is definitely one of the most bizarre entities I've looked into. I mean, I've looked into all kinds of entities and people's accounts of seeing these entities. Apparently there's accounts of a humanoid rabbit type spirit Again, all very bizarre. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you've ever experienced anything like this. If you'd like to support this channel, I do have a patron. All my links are in my bio. Thank you so much for watching, and we are out. P O O K A. Puka. From old Celtic mythology. A fairy spirit in animal form, always very large. The puka appears here and there, now and then, to this one and that one. A benign but mischievous creature, very fond of rum pots, crack pots, and how are you, Mr. Wilson? I was walking down along the street and I, I heard this voice saying, Good evening, Mr. Dog. Well, I, I turned around and here was this big six foot rabbit leaning up against a lamppost. I, I thought nothing of that because when you've lived in the town as long as I've lived in this one, you get used to the fact that everybody knows your name.